What's something that he did that you really liked? Well, we had peace with most countries. We wouldn't, he wasn't bringing us all in these other wars like with Ukraine. We wouldn't have had any involvement in that war at all. If it, if it were, but do you think that's because he's kind of close with Putin, or do you think it's because he wouldn't want it? I think, he's more, I think it's because he's more of a neutral president. He doesn't like starting drama with other countries and everything. So you're saying Donald Trump tries to avoid drama? Mm hmm Yes. I am interested in Trump patrolling the neighborhoods better. Gun control is number one, and everyone shouldn't own a gun. But do you think, don't you think that Trump is... Uh, opposed to gun control? No. My belief is if you can run this city or this country like a business, you can't fail. And he's a businessman. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I don't, like I okay, said. Okay, I'm going to do my thing again. He's a businessman who was bankrupted twice, though. Yeah, but he's, what that says to me is he's not afraid of failure. You got to, takes money to have money, I guess, type thing. Like, you've got to establish Failures happen in life. Everybody knows that, right? Someone once asked Donald Trump about making America great. And he said back like in the 50s in the Eisenhower years uh, when, you know, it was post-war, a lot of construction, highway bill. But in the 1950s, black Americans had to sit upstairs in a, in a, in a movie theater. Yeah, they couldn't sit in the same buses. The South had Jim Crow laws that the, the fighters and soldiers of the civil rights movement had to undo. So it wasn't great for everybody. I mean, those were, at that time, those were the least of uh, our concerns. At that time, as black people, we were all still once even united amongst each other. But as you see now, as time went on, we're not anymore. You know, we have a very high rate of, uh, a very high murder rate, very high unemployment rate, and things of that nature. So since since that time, blacks have actually, our wealth has went down, you know, over that time, you know, and, and, and things like that. We don't own the things in our community as, uh, as we once did. So that's what I kind of want to get back to. You know, that's why I said I like Trump in the first place. But those things, you can't uh, use the bathroom. It was, it's, it's a new day now. It is, but he yeah. says, make America great again. Yeah. And then he says, like in the 50s. And I'm saying, America in the 50s, yeah. not that so great for everybody, right? I mean, that, that's... That wouldn't seem like a bad thing to me. No. Going back, you know, as long as we keep the peace, I wouldn't mind everybody just... So if there was Jim Crow laws in the South, but there was peace and prosperity, you'd be okay with it? Yeah, we just move, move away from those Southern states. I'm just a firm believer in, uh, you know, if, say, if a, if, if a state doesn't ha have certain laws that I don't like, I'll move it to another state that does, that benefits me. You know, just like with politicians and when I vote for, uh, you know, a senator or either a president or mayor or anything like that, it's pros and cons to everything. You have to take the good with the bad, and it's just part of accepting life. But also in the South at that time that he talks about, Black people didn't have the vote. They couldn't even vote, right? And so in the fifties, in the fifties, yeah, they, the the Voting Rights Act came in the nineteen sixties. Okay. 